All right, welcome back, everybody. After that horrendous excuse of a lame episode last time, in which I had to refight the freaking bosses with super sped up chipmunk mode, we're finally here at the finale of the final boss. And I have to be prepared for my final journey. But anyway, as I showed off before, this boss is really easy. You just fire him when he shows up and jump around in the air. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, if you want to stay in the middle, you can dodge it a little bit differently, but this is just the least amount of buttons to be pushed if you want to do it this way. And that's pretty much all we're going for. There's no need to try and get that extra hit in there, I just do it anyway because I can, but whatever. You'll go through this pattern three times, you'll finish him off, and he's a really easy first form of the boss. And that's, yeah, that's going to be the first form. He's going to get taken down. Boom. And this form is a lot tougher. If you haven't played it before, or you know, haven't been prepared for it, etc., you just get here for the first time, chances are he's really going to kick your ass. But he's also a heck of a lot of fun. It's time for us to settle this. So here we go. He's got a few different attacks. Um, he's going to stand in the middle there and throw his little spear thing at you. He's going to jump up, and you don't want to get hit with that. But you want to make sure that he throws it at the wall, because he's going to throw it wherever you are at that point in time to try and get some contact damage on him. Um, if he throws it and it lands on the ground, then you're going to be in for a world of hurt. It's going to be a lot worse. And I messed up again. You probably just want a single jump there. I kept double jumping. Um, so now I've taken a few hits that I don't exactly want to take, but I think I'll be okay, I suppose. Just keep going after him. A lot of different options to go here. Oh, I just messed up big time. This is exactly what I said you do not want to do, and I just went ahead and did it now. Alright, so I ended up getting a little bit lucky there. Um, he was low enough where it looked like a gig attack was able to finish him off, but I was not paying attention. I was busy talking, lost half my health, and I'm trying to save as much of my HP as possible. But it didn't work out. So, excuse me. This is where I intended to leave off last episode, and unfortunately it didn't work out that way. But here we are, the final boss of our Let's Play Mega Man X4 Zero 100% run. Alright, apparently I'm finished. Oh, I didn't even get to fight him yet! Iris is waiting for you, uh-oh. Are you ready for your final journey? And he, that's his same line again. So pick up his health real quick. And uh, this boss is kind of, although I totally just messed up. God, talking makes me mess up. End of story. So there's three different patterns to this part. Um, and I've already messed up on like all of them already. But uh, this form, he spits out a bunch of rocks at you. You want to sit in the corner. And then he's going to go to a... a serious, that hit me too? Everything's hitting me. He's going to go to a, a form of a couple of heads. In which... Uh, there's three different heads that he has options for, and each one of the heads has a different pattern. And then he's going to go to this thing who has two different attacks, and he's going to go back to one of those three colored heads, and then he's going to go over to that head down there in the corner. Alright, this time I'm not going to try and just kill it, I'm going to just sit on top of it. You want to stay off somewhere around over here, and he'll have an attack that, nope, he doesn't want to do it. So that's where you use your Giga Attack, because you saw some rocks getting blown into me. So you blow up the rocks, you don't get hit, but you end up just spending it as a wash, unfortunately. The blue head is the easiest to dodge, you just sit on top of it or try and kill it, whatever. He's going to come back to this, you wait for a second, and he says that the end thing, and he does a big, quick, you know, line across the bottom. So it's not too hard to dodge, but uh, you got to be careful about it. Just listen for him to say the end. This guy, finally, he does his other attack, he just tries to blow you into some spikes, and that's where you actually get a chance to hit him a little bit. Do some dash cancel if you can, and I messed up there again. Oh well, alright, I'm getting hurt, I, th I think I can take one more hit, so I'll let one more hit get taken. Listen for the end part. Double jump over it, I barely made it at that time. Redhead, god I... Alright, I'm going way too slow with that, because I'm just not paying enough attention. So I'm going to have to use an E-Tank now, because I suck. 
and wait for his low head to come up. All right, get a hit in there, get another hit in there. Nice. That's like ideal. That's what you re really want to get ideally. And I just got a ton of it. Uh, the yellow head is the absolute toughest to get rid of. Um, I totally got hit way too many times there, but so be it. It's really tough to dodge, so I think you're better off just trying to kill it. Um, another the end, no big deal. I was ready for it that time. Redhead, ah, I got it this time. There you go. It's not too bad to dodge if you, you know, are paying attention properly. Use a Giga Attack to blow up the rocks. Sit up top here in the very corner. He's not too bad if you know every pattern that everything's gonna have fighting you. Um, but it's just a lot of stuff to remember and a lot of different steps, and you just gotta be really quick about it. So, he's not doing his the end this time, so... Just roll right into him, boom, took care of him. So now we just have three colored heads to deal with and his lower head in the corner to deal with. And right now, awesome, got the gig attack in there in perfect time. Uh, apparently I air dashed into spikes, I'm not sure how, because I wasn't even in the air, but so be it. Blue head's the easy one, and we're making good progress, guys. It looks like he's going to be taken care of fairly quickly. Um, unfortunately, now, the only chance I have to hit him is if he tries to blow me into him, um, which he hasn't, been, or suck me into him, I guess, which he hasn't been doing. He's been doing that freaking rock thing the whole time, which you have an extremely small window to hit him with, and that's really unfortunate. Ah, oh, crap. See, I went for it. Trying to get some damage, and really, I died for that. Ugh, I tried to speed things up and get some damage in there, and I died. <sighs> well, that's really, really frustrating. Really frustrating. I was doing so well. So now I guess I just have to fight these freaking two bosses over again. Feel free to skip ahead a minute or two minutes, I guess. How annoying. Whatever. Maybe I can fight the second one a little bit better. Are you ready for your final journey? But this dude's pretty much just a waste of time. Alright, so here we go, round two, which at least a little bit more fun, so he jumps up immediately, no big deal, he jumps, I jump, he hits the wall, there we go, much better, much better, I'm going to jump over him, you can actually stand there and hit him on the wall, which is really nice, otherwise I suppose you just keep out jumping him anyway, no big deal. Wait for him to jump, he throws his arm back, then you jump once. Okay, yeah, much better, much, much better. Especially because it lets you hit him being behind him there, so... Much better fight this time. I'm not gonna get... I almost got hit right there when I was trying to say I'm not gonna get hit. Awesome, just took him out real quick. So, flawless the first two forms. Took us two minutes of time. I went a little slowly on the first form. I didn't hit him fully. So be it. Here we are. Let's try this again, shall we? It's not like I did bad, I just... I don't know, I guess I got impatient. Yeah, all he was doing was his freaking rock attack. Every time I looked at, like, a run of somebody else, they never do it at all. It's like, how do you... I, I don't understand. Whatever. The best part about not taking any hits is that uh, I'm able to use that little capsule to help refill that one energy tank I used the first time, right? So I do have a little bit extra now. Not too much, but a little bit, so that's kind of nice. What am I fighting? Hey, what do you know? Get a couple dash attacks in there. Hit him with some triple slash. Not mess up on the red... Hey, there you go. It's going much better this time. Much better. Listen for the end. It's not coming. Blow that up. Get a lot of good hits on him there. You don't want to get too close to him, otherwise you'll end up hitting him with your own body. Like, right there. God, way to go, Xerxes. Wait, I just did it twice after saying don't do it. Although we just totally trucked him there. Ah, oh, I almost did that without getting hit. Oh well. I got, got hit once. That's not too bad. 
Awesome, now he's doing this again. Everything's going my way this time. Well, I shouldn't say everything, but it's a little bit better. Uh, that's so hard to dodge. The yellow one's really hard to dodge, so if you can get hit once on the yellow one, you'll be fine in the end. He doesn't do the end, so that means I'm really going to get to truck him. Alright, there you go. One at ha he's already half dead. Although I guess that's the easy half, so it's not quite half, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Oh, it totally just got owned right there. That's so unfair. All it takes is one time to get jacked over with that, man. All it takes. Jeez. Just lost all my health on that. Ugh. And I got hit on the red face. Stand way back here so that hopefully, if he does go to the rocks, you can get yourself stuck behind that blue head that shows up. Next time it happens, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Oh, the yellow face again. Try and just take one hit. Stand over here. Alright, so he's doing the good one, where I can get a little bit of damage in him. Alright, so he's getting down there real low anyway. I forgot to dodge, and I messed up anyway. Whatever, I think I'll be fine. What's he doing, what's he doing? Awesome! Oh, crap, 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 crap! Oh my god! That was just a total misclick, and I almost died for it. Hey, look at that! I just dodged it without getting hit. I didn't even know how I did it, but I did. So I'll take it. Alright. That's what I mean by get stuck behind the blue head, and you just use your giga attack, blow up all the rocks, stand in the corner. Things are working out nicely there. Alright, jump over that, jump over that. Sweet! I just did it twice in a row. I can't explain how I just did it, so you guys are going to have to watch on that one. But it looks like things are going really well. That should finish him off. There we go, guys. He is defeated. The game is not over yet, however. There's a little bit left. He's laughing. Why do bosses always laugh after you beat them up? What's so funny, dude? The weapon is aimed at Earth. No one can stop it. Goodbye, Zero. Uh, well, great. Earth's going to get blown up. Zero's going to get blown up. So it was all a big waste of time. Thanks for watching the LP. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? I gotta find out. I came here to save planet Earth. Humans are scumbags anyway. Why do I want to save them? What's this? It's General. He's all beat up. I was wrong. He blinded me to the truth. With my body, I can stop the weapon. It's over for this soldier. Alright, so looks like he's a good guy in the end, which is, you know, what we should expect. We still don't know very much about this weapon, but apparently he's going to make like the movie Independence Day and just kamikaze throw himself into the weapon and blow it up. It looks like a mass relay, doesn't it? I'm just full of game references and movie references in this part. I'm going to let you guys enjoy your cutscene, though. Time for Xerxes to shut up. This is what happened to me. This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. Iris! Sucks, dude. Way to kill your girlfriend. God, you couldn't just, like, maim her or, you know, knock her unconscious, something. You had to actually finish her off. God. Oh, well. So we got some credits over here, and I guess that's the end of our game. I don't know if there's any extra scene at the end like there was in Mega Man X. I'm certainly going to wait and find out, but, uh, you know, I don't actually know, so... That's going to end our X4 LP once these are done rolling. Um, so it was a 
it's a really sweet game. There's amazing gameplay, great music, you know, all the stuff that you would hope for a Mega Man game. Um, I don't know how much different it is playing as X. I only played as X once, and that was only recently, because Cooper told me to play as X, because I had never played as X before. So, um, I just think it's so much more fun as Zero. Um, instead of, you know, being at a distance and, you know, running away the whole time and shooting people with their weaknesses, I gotta get up in your face the whole time. I spend most of the time, you know, doing sword slashes, and there's not too many weaknesses that you really get to use, aside from the obvious, you know, fire attack on half the, half the game, but that's mostly just because of its range, the, the way it works, and the way it hits people. That's what makes it most effective. Oh, shut up, you stupid reverb. Hope that's the last time I get to listen to that garbage. So, I don't know if there's going to be any other LP on the way. Um, when I started the first Mega Man LP that I did, Mega Man 1, uh, I kind of figured I would do 1 through 6, I would do X, and I would do X4 if I got a, uh, a PSX emulator, which I ended up doing. So, I don't know if there's anything else I'll, I'll do, especially now that University's back in session. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe Breath of Fire 2. Um, aside from that, I don't know. That would probably be the only other thing at the moment I could I could do. But this is pretty much kind of what I expected for my LPs. When I started them, you know, whenever the heck it was, was do just the Mega Mans. I threw Contra in there because it's you know a 12-minute game for me, um, and that that was pretty much it. So there's a few NES games I could, in theory, do, but uh, like Castlevania, except I can't beat Dracula. You know, and punch out, except I can't beat Mike Tyson, so I don't really want to do an LP of a game I can't beat, but uh, if there's anything else you guys want to see, let me know. Um, I might actually do, I guess now that I think about it, um, a couple MTG vids of Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012 from Xbox Live. Um, I suppose I could do a couple of vids of that and just talk about it a little bit, but I don't know, maybe some chess. I know I, people keep telling me about that every freaking week, but I never follow through with it, but, you know, here we are. Is there going to be an extra scene? Who knows? I suppose I could do Mega Man Legends as well, but I just feel like RPGs would take too many parts. The battle has ended, but for some reason, Zero's memories of the past continue- I wonder why they haunt his mind, because you killed your girlfriend. As a hunter, it is his duty to go after those mavericks, and at the same time, he knows that it is his destiny to defeat his friend one day. Two different- what? Defeat his friend one day? What's he mean by that? Do I have to fight Mega Man now? Uh, I don't know what that meant. Maybe I read it wrong because I was reading it so fast. But uh, it sounds like it's hinting I have to fight Mega Man. So, um, you know, I guess there's that. So, um, I guess we just start right back at where we left off. Do we get to keep my stuff in like a New Game Plus mode? I don't think so probably just gonna throw me in, throw me into the fire immediately. Yeah, it just looks like same old, same old. So, thanks for watching, guys. I sure had a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, you know, leave me any comments, opinions, whatever the heck's going on. And, uh, you know, just thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys. So long.